This is EA Sports PGA Tour coverage coming up next. Hello again and welcome. I'm Rich Lerner. And beside me is my friend and colleague, Frank Navalo, here in the state of Arizona, getting set for a wonderful day of golf. The Grand Canyon is the site for the action today. And Frank, how about this golf course? Amazing, Rich. Uh, from a design point of view, absolute genius. But uh, if you're like me and suffer a little bit from vertigo, don't look down because the cliff is all the way down to the Colorado River. Mm -hmm. It's an enormous drop off so ball that doesn't find the fairway you'll be reteamed here at the first and ready to get this round underway par for 471 yards to the middle of the green imposing tee shot because you've got to flash it straight across the canyon on your opening tee shot there's a little rock pile in the distance the one on top of the hill there somehow you've got to just keep your tee shot a little after that but still carry the canyon. A daunting start straight out of the gate. When you do that, well, you can walk across that rickety old bridge. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. Second shot, good look at the green. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. That will be a great look at birdie. One hundred thirty yards out. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. This one just requires a little bit of focus. That's not how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. No, you'd, uh, you'd like to go back to that first tee right now and start again. Now a seven footer. One under early in the round. Means this for par. Drops it, and he's at even par. This is the second hole. It is a par three, some 285 yards, and Frank, you don't want to get lost there to the right. Well, that's for sure. It looks like an old uh, ruins of an old fort there. 285 yards, though, but we are at altitude, so we can take a little bit off of that. Plus, the green is some 36 feet below the level of the tee, so you can nearly take another club off of that. The two front bunkers, they really save you more than anything. And that green, as you can see, is a, a perfect circle. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. So that ball nestles down in the rough, just got away a little bit on that tee ball. Ball sitting down here in the rough, he's digging in. Good was that, Frank, from the rough. Oh, that's amazing. That's a master class in short game. 
Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Even Bob currently. Routine stuff for Rory, that's a par. Shouldn't be a problem here. Nice par to remain one under. Right, the other thing is the intimidation factor here. Everywhere you look, there is huge trouble. Consider the first three holes, big tee shot across the canyon, long par three, and you get nearly a 700 yard par five. Every once in a while you're reminded, this is a pretty hard just need to settle down, relax on this next shot after going out of bounds. The amount of time somebody splits the fairway after hitting one out of bounds is astronomical. This will be the third shot after being penalized for going out of bounds. Excellent drive right there, Frank. Circa 310. Good scoring opportunity. Third shot here at the par five. Good line in the fairway, a good chance to make something happen here. Players still fighting the strong winds out there today. Setting up for an approach shot here. Frank, can you recall a situation where, before an important round, an instructor gave you one small tweak, maybe flare your left toe out, or just shift a little bit of the weight onto the back foot, but the instructor gave you that one small bit of advice and it made a huge difference? Uh, yeah, the, the list is too long, which, and it's normally just someone that you've trusted over the years, and we all make just little bad habits. Sometimes you're stooped over a little bit more than normal, you're not standing tall enough, the ball is too far back in your stance or too far forward. You're making a funny little move or your grip is different. It's always the little things that add up to the big problem. A good 29 foot putt here. Missed on that one, Frank. Yeah, not a problem. But now a chance for a birdie. Not quite enough on that one, a couple of feet short. Yeah, hopefully uh, he taps it in. Not his best, but um, hopefully it's just two putts. So just getting started, even par so far. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Putt drops, now at one over par. Now move ahead to the fourth. Very short par four. It's an iron off the tee. You want to play this one for position.
attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. This looks to be at least an extra club, maybe two clubs going way up that hill to the green. This is a good looking shot. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Makes the putt and goes to one under. She's on her way back in the right direction with that birdie back to even ball. Well, Frank, there is a downhill shot and then there is this at the par three fifth. Big change in elevation. Uh, drop shot par three, you would normally say, but the length of the hole, uh, you know, around 230 yards makes that a little bit longer than a drop shot. Very, very daunting view. Little oasis surrounds the screen here, as well as those two bunkers. Long? Well, you don't want to be long to save the uh, obvious or the inevitable for some. Well, no other way to say it, Frank. That's just an awful. Look out, that ball's OB. That'll be a one shot penalty. Third shot now after having gone OB. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. What a nice shot, right on the green and a pretty easy putt on the way. Second shot coming out of the rough here. <laughs> Frank, how about that? Well, can you believe that too? I mean, could hit the flag and bounce away instead straight in. Amazing shot and really deserves it. Getting ready for the putt. So with that, one over par. Here are the par five six, 625 yards. You have to take a bite out of the rocky road here, up and over the railway line. 
and somehow underneath the arches from there, you're heading, uh, well, to an island room, you might say. There's no water. It's just surrounded by rock and canyon. swing and the result is every bit as good. That's a good spot right there. Set it cut. Nicely played shot about 310 yards down the fairway. It is a windy day out here, Frank. My hat just blew off. This is going to affect the player's shots, that's for sure. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Playing his second shot. Part five. Right at about 125 yards to where the hole is cut. This becomes a different kind of battle out there today with these strong, gusty winds. Players will have to think, they'll have to take extra club, and this will not be easy. should be pretty good right there on the safe side that is a beauty a real beauty so third shot now for Rory McElroy He'll be disappointed with that, no doubt. Your yeah, swing didn't quite look right on that one. Frank made this hole just a little bit harder hitting it into the rough. I would say a lot harder. You'll need to be strong with this. Standing over this punt, concentrating on the read. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to burn every hole. And he makes it. We're a bogey here. Did the job right there. 
now with a par four seventh hole. This uh, an unusual fairway, to say the least, Frank. It's special. And the reason why it's special is because it's shaped like an S. If you play it as a straightaway hole, then you're going to have to stay before that rock crop and then be far enough back that you can at least get over it in a direct line to the green. Otherwise, you're going to need a bit of a cut off the tee, and that would be fairly brave. Easy way, because the hole's not too long. If you to lay it up, a uh, more difficult, more enjoyable way is to cut it to the right and try and find a gap. Frank, it really is an ingenious design here. Well, this looks good. It certainly is. Frank, like so many people I can recall coming to the Grand Canyon as a tourist and, and also as a golfer, I remember thinking to myself, wouldn't it be cool if we could put a golf course inside the Grand Canyon? Imagine, oh, right over there, that would be a really great par five. Well, thanks to the designers at EA Sports, here we are. It's reality. It is. I used to go to the Grand Canyon with a camera, and now I go with my golf clubs. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Well played here. Went straight for the flag stick, and she will have a nice putt coming up. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green line special. Shouldn't be a problem here. Good score going, now at two under par. He has this for a birdie. That's a birdie for McElroy. He's just so explosive. Now to the very long par five eighth here in the canyon. Just a little 743 yard hole, Frank. Yeah, that's the first for the box. Remember the U.S. Open and Olympic? And you've got a par five to stretch to 700 yards now. Wow. Easily exceeds that number. But this could be really good, Frank. Oh, straight at it. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Second shot coming up here at the par five. Into the thick stuff, that's a difficult lot. Second shot. Frank out of the rough, best to swing a little bit easier or get after it with all you have. Well, a little bit in between. Obviously, it's going to require a little bit of strength to make sure that club keeps going through, but it's still the planning of the shot. Once again, check short, or is there anything I have to carry? And even remember, there's always the option of just simply pitching the ball down the fairway and taking your medicine. He's set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. 
doing whatever he wants with that golf ball, moving it left, moving it right, hitting it straight when it's called for. He's doing it all. Set to go. Not an easy shot by any means. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. And like Ben Crenshaw right there, just so smooth. Never played before. These putts keep the round together. Back to par for the round. Finishing up the front side here with a mammoth par four. Anything other than straight, too, it really does suit up for a, a drive that bends left to right, so it's going to move to the better side of the fairway. There is that rock crop, really, that saves you from going down in the canyon, but from there on in, that second shot, doesn't matter what level of player you are, to hit to a green that just sits out or juts out off the edge, that is some scary second. That's beyond long. That is a sensational play right there, and you have to think that the, the little helping breeze gave that a nice boost. It can't be that good. She's playing so well out there, man. just unstoppable. Oh, come on, that's not even human. That's ridiculous. That is 350 plus yards. This, the second shot, here at the par four. Right in the heart of the fairway, green light special. Whoop, this is taken off on the weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. In the thick stuff. Thick, it's brutal out there. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Ball sitting down here with the rough. He's digging in. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. All right, good putt. The rhythm of that strike. Didn't try and bash it in the back. Holding steady now at 200 par. So we're ready to start the back nine. Rich Slurner for EA Sports World. My partner, Frank Davalo. Frank, tell us a little bit about the 10th. Get another tight tee shot, uh, Rich. This time the canyon is on the right side, though. And you can see that left side well protected by that wall of rock. Not an overly long par four, but once again, you've got a three to drive down there to have any chance to really see this flag. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards.
Second shot. Good look at the green. Seems to like it. Looks like it's headed for the green. Absolutely throwing darts just inside of five feet. Let's see what McElroy does now with his second. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. But, and it's gonna hurt the club. He'll take par and move on. Is it going three under for the round? Here at the par four, 11th, that green tucked back behind the canyon wall, Frank. Yeah, it's not overly long. Uh, once again, though, we're going to need a nice tee shot. This hole bends in the opposite direction to 10, slight dog leg to the right. So the canyon is on the left side. And you just, that green is so well protected by that little crop of rock that's in front of it and to the side. So a good tee shot there, really to get a look at that flag. Otherwise you're gonna to have to play a blind second shot over the corner of the rock. Very narrow fairway though. Well, a nice line in the fairway, just 135 yards left. Seems to like it. Headed for the back part of the green. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Even par, currently. Now at one under for the round. Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Yeah, here we go. Start to roll now. Four under with that birdie. Now to the par three, 12, Frank, and obviously there is trouble. Yet again on the left, and if you miss it to the right, uh, you're not gonna be pitching off of a soft piece of grass. No, you're not. This the, fortunately though, this is the shortest of the four par threes here at the golf course, um, left long in trouble. Fortunately, that bunker might save a few shots from going to uh, what would be an even bigger problem. But at that yardage, uh, there is a chance to make two. It's, uh, it's a, not a big target, but anything on the putting surface really is going to give you a birdie opportunity.
This from seven feet. I thought that was it. Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. Could really use this one. It's for birdie. He'd set off a bar here. In for bar. Minus one for the death. I don't want to play it, I just want to look at it. If you're thirsty, it might make you thirsty, that's for sure. Of course, all that uh, lovely water, courtesy of the mountains. Great strike and a great result. Sitting up, good chance to attack the flag. What a great shot. Good line in the fairway, good chance to make something happen here. Giant putter heads, fat grips. What's happening with putter technology these days, Frank? One of the things I've done is face balance. That means the putter face doesn't rotate around, especially when it's not hit perfectly. So a putter that doesn't move around as much means it's gonna stay square. A putter that stays square means the ball's gonna go in line. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Third shot, working for a good one. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. That is classy. No chance of going in. So, third shot now for Rory McIlroy. 